Hello everyone and welcome to the Raspberry Pi Pico tutorial series using the Sunfounder Kepler kit. Check the link in the description if you want to buy a kit of your own. In this tutorial we're gonna look at this LED bar graph. The LED bar graph is just an LED array which we will use to connect to the Pico. So instead of connecting 10 individual LEDs, we can just use a bar graph. So let's look at the components you will need. The Raspberry Pi Pico, a breadboard, LED bar graph, 220 ohm resistors, and some jumper wire. Now all that is left to do is to go build a circuit diagram shown here. Once you have finished building your circuit, go to my website and you can copy the first example and let's paste that in Fonny. And let's go through the code together. We first import the necessary libraries. We'll import pin from the machine library and also import uTime to make a delay. We then define the LED with a variable LED pin and put this equal to pin number six. We then initialize the LED pin as an output using the pin method pin out. We then set an LED value to one. We keep it on for one second and then we turn the LED off. When we run this code, we'll see the first LED will turn on for one second and then turn off. So let's copy example two from the website and go paste that in Fonny. We again import the pin from machine library and uTime to create a small delay. We then create a list that contains the number of where the LEDs are connected to and the LEDs is connected from pin six up to 15. Then we create an empty list that will be used to store the pin object or in other words, how we can make the pins to be an output. We then create a for loop, which we will then first make an empty list. And then afterwards we will iterate over that list and then sign each LED to a pin out. We then create an endless loop and each iteration of the loop toggles the state of the LED in the LED list using the toggle method of the pin class. This causes each LED to turn on and off in a sequence, creating a visual effect similar to a progress bar. We use the uTime Sleep 0.2 to pause the program for 200 milliseconds or 0.2 seconds between each LED toggle, which controls the speed of the animation. Running the code, we get the following. There is one more example on a website where I use the internal temperature sensor of the Raspberry Pi Pico to indicate the temperature here on an LED graph. The only downside of this is that it's the internal temperature of the Pico chip itself and it's not actually the ambient temperature that you will sense. That one I will leave on a website that you can go have a look at it yourself. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and if you didn't, leave a like. I will see you in the next tutorial.